Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you are just hopping on to the overlanding caravanning culture in India, then Motorhome Adventures is a three decade old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle, food truck, caravans, RVs, motorhomes, you name it and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we will be walking through a surprise and unexpected conversion that was never in the books of our conversions 2024 but it came in in such a way that we couldn't say no an election express that rolled through the election season 2024 and it was rented by times now we'll talk about it more in this episode so without further ado let's walk through this conversion Based on a six-cylinder 5200 wheelbase Tata Chesi, this Election Express has a couple of drop-down stages, a stage on the top is fully packed with the speaker setup and more. So first up, we're going to talk about why this conversion came in. So this was never supposed to be an election campaign vehicle. In fact, since 2022, I think we have been planning to launch this caravan, but we're never able to do it because each and every time we get this or that query for which this is fabricated. All that to say, if you are planning to maybe rent a caravan or any kind of asset for a longer duration and you want to get some kind of customizations done, then that is very much possible. So this was actually supposed to be a camper van, but instead because the requirement came in and because it was a long term rental, we then converted this asset into an election express because we already had given a couple of provisions in this. So as for the exterior, the complete branding on the exterior is of the new channel times now who rented this conversion and as you can see it's done in completely blue and red color and I'm really sorry if it's peeling off from some places because this has been back after I think a 50 days of tour so it has been through a lot it has traveled to many many routes and that is why the exterior branding may be peeling off now talking about the actual conversion so you can see that we have the front fascia right here and then we have the rear view mirror here moving to the co-driver side so here on the co-driver side we have a booth space where you can store a lot and lot of amenities this is the advantage of chassis now actually even before we begin of the conversion I just want you to understand the term chassis so basically our monocoque shell based vehicles such as Tempo Traveler, Winger and the conversions that we have done around them be it Willow, be it Wincy, Cavalier etc these are all monocoque shell based conversions on the other hand our chassis based conversions are the ones wherein we just get the skeleton and on top of that we build the complete exterior starting from the shell to again the insulation wiring and whatnot so that's the biggest difference between a chassis versus a monocoque shell this one is a chassis based conversion now a big advantage in a chassis is that because you are building this from scratch instead of it being a monocoque shell you have a lot of boot space under here so in here we can either have our storage which is on the other side or we can have the access of multiple different things so this one particularly I think these two give you the access of the slide out deck that we are going to discuss about later now moving to the rear so this asset because it's supposed to give backup it's supposed to be giving light electricity and whatnot during the course of complete shoot which is going to be done in this vehicle this has not one but two gen sets so one of the gen set is stored in here and then we have the other one on the other side so here we have that provision then up there we have the provision of filling up the fresh water tank we have the outdoor shower provision which is something that we provide in each and every caravan coming to the rear this is the rear area which again is going to have a drop down platform about which again we'll be talking when we enter the inside 
Then on this side, we have our another genset. So the reason we have two gensets in this caravan again is because this is supposed to be giving backup during the shoot period. And because we have a complete studio on the inside, which is going to telecast the news live, that is why we need these kind of backups. So the kind of gensets we use are the EU70 or EU30 IS silent petrol genset. Now we are back on the co-driver side and in here as I said we have a couple I'll have to check if it's open yep so if you'll come up close you can see a lot of our amenities are stored up here including a spare tire that we have then this one are you opened yes so it has a little bit of other knickknacks which may not look as good but these are your backups of backups of many other things now before we enter in we're quickly going to talk about the cabin so let's hop in So we're now in the cabin area. As you can see, it's a huge, huge space. Again, because this was supposed to be a camper van, we had provision of sleeping and seating for both driver and helper. So first up in the dashboard, we have a lot of amenities here, which we can ignore clearly. And I can see that it's a bit dusty because we travel from the HQ to here, opening the windows and whatnot. But as for this dashboard, this is a fiber dashboard that has been painted and it's in a very dark color is it yes it's in a very dark color a very oak like color here we have our android screen this is the control panel which is going to control the drop down stages that green button right there that you're seeing that is something that's going to be discarding off the black water once your septic tank is full as for the seating area as i said we have comfortable cushioning wherein two three people can easily seat up and when it comes to the sleeping area we have a little sleeping seating space right there this one right here is the bedding which is going to drop down so it's a comfortable enough bedding area which is going to easily sleep up to one person apart from that right behind that area right behind the driver space we have the battery stored up and this one right here is our inverter and right here we have the main control panel so all the mcs are right here if you'll pan the camera to the top you'll be able to see that we have the complete top done using the charcoal paneling and these small louvers that you're seeing these are your auto acs and that ac right there is your static ac so it functions through either the genset or an electric outsource supply when the caravan or the vehicle is stationary apart from that we have little knickknacks here and there so we have a fan we have the music system and that is at about the cabin area now let's move to the actual conversion so now we are going to talk about the actual conversion but before that so this ladder right here this one particularly is manual but if you have seen our other conversions such as castro which is a chassis based conversion that system can also be created in a motorized manner so this one is manual but a motorized one can definitely be created now let's hop in So the first few amenities that you actually see when you enter is the control panel which is accessible from here as well as the opposite side and then we have a microwave, a dinky fridge, we are planning to upgrade this fridge but this is a 12 volt DC battery operated fridge then we have the music system and our Android TV. Now the reason this TV is shying away and hiding is because this panel is actually an expandable panel so when you station the acid this complete panel is going to be expanding up so this is basically my hand so this is giving you approximately i'd say three feet of more width in the camper van so we'll just ask the team to open up the slide out So 
as you can see I was standing right on the top of the expansion when we expand it open we have approximately 3.5 feet of more width on the inside and now that it's more roomier the voice is echoing I I'm pretty sure you can hear the difference but now this TV is completely visible and this is basically our studio space so what happens when you're sitting is because you're going to have a round table conference kind of structure we have these four swivelable seats which are recliners so we have the thigh rest then we have the actual recliner and then all of these seats swivel up so that way whenever you are planning to shoot something and you have maybe the guests on board what you can do is simply pivot the seats and face them any ways towards any which ways that you require so these are basically our seats then coming to the other amenities the flooring the complete flooring has been redone for this particular concept so this slide out deck basically operates on a 24 volt dc power pack and this is basically a hydraulic we have two of these decks right in this caravan initially this one was also supposed to be a slide out panel but we have removed that and we are planning to keep it that way because to be honest whenever you're traveling even in a caravan this whole open open space is going to feel great but before we talk about this open space so here we have our drop panels if you want if you're maybe shooting on the indoors and you want more light on the inside so this is something that you can do we have two windows these are all concealed windows so you do not we cannot open it when you're rolling the asset but if you require more light on the inside you surely have the option of having that we are going to close this back up because the next amenity that we are going to talk about is this complete stage drop and how this functions is through this power pack so this is a winch that can withstand approximately 6000 pounds of weight and we have two of these winches in this stage alone and then we have another stage on the rear so how this functions is either through the knobs that you had seen the control panel that you had seen in the cabin area or you have the option of taking it in your hand literally and with a press of a button so that is our stage open and you have gotten a little bit of sneaky little peek of our new conversion which i think is going to be up before this conversion so if not then this is a tata yodha based conversion that we are going to be coming up with it's aegis 2.0 election style now back to this current conversion so this stage is sturdy enough even without the actual locks that we have underneath but the real purpose of this is because once you're placing up the cameras that being our studio because you're going to be placing up the cameras from right here even though we have a 3.5 feet of extension we, if we are getting the extension on this side and we are placing the cameras on this side that two cameras that are going to be going live that gives you an extra kind of space and another thing is whenever you are on this side of the space and maybe you are are addressing the public then you can simply be seated here you get more light and at the same time if the public has any kind of questions you can do that but the reason we are keeping this feature is because we are going to be placing a couple of beds here when it converts into a caravan when it converts back into a caravan so then we'll be having seating and sleeping space for 11 people so stay tuned for that conversion as well as for the standard amenities that we have in this one we have a two ton static ac in this one so again as i said the static ac functions on the genset and all these louvers that you're seeing on the top these are for the auto ac apart from that we have a music system so here we have our lights again the same charcoal paneling that we had in the cabin area is being continued here as well and this charcoal paneling mind you guys is very lightweight plus it adds a real good finish to the top area usually we do the reinforced fiber kind of customizations on the sides and the roof but in this one we went with the charcoal paneling which again i think is not a bad option to go with 
so we have our lights and these are basically your track lights especially meant for the studio purpose so i'll have to see yeah so you can bring it frontwards backwards you can change the angle and these function on a 24 volt supply so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine of these lights here now that is that for this particular space and then we have one light hiding here and then we are back on this section so this is something that they inserted especially for this customization so this is basically a background screen which simply drops down now we are going to move to this section so once we enter in so this is our deep storage that we have if you'll come up close currently my backpack because we are planning a shoot and because we are shooting many conversions i have a complete takeaway back here so that is being stored all our camera equipments are being stored right under here so this is a deep enough storage if i could i would but i think even i can fit in there so that is how this storage is that is how this is deep enough now coming to this area originally in the caravan conversion this was supposed to be a kitchen area and it will soon be a kitchen area but for the times now project we completely converted this into a pcr room setup so here like even the spots that we have given these are basically for the wiring and for the complete shenanigan of the pcr setup even up top because they were as i said they were telecasting news live each and every day for 50 something days and for that purpose we completely remove the kitchen our original kitchen is going to be a teak wood rubber wood kind of a combination which you'll see again in the walkthrough of that so we have storage space underneath and then even this panel is something that expands out which we are not going to do right now but for your knowledge this is an expandable deck a slide out hydraulic slide out deck and then on the opposite side we have a bathroom now before we talk about the bathroom i think if you have been on our channel this part is going to sound a little redundant to you but building bathrooms on wheels is our usp and we have been building bathrooms for many many paramilitary services such as crpf itbp etc etc amongst our caravans and our conversions so why is this unique is because number one the kind of material that we use in building the bathroom is very lightweight and it's very much weather friendly it is very easy to clean and it can not have any kind of cracks and crevices so that is going to be a bonus point for you whenever you're cleaning the bathroom but as for the material that we use it's basically the reinforced fiber panel that we use other than that we are going to enter the bathroom space which you are going to like very much now as we speak of the bathroom the kamod is one of the key factors so i want you to understand the kind of kamod tech that we use is similar to the ones that we find in the airplanes so using the air pressure we function the flush which saves you a lot and lot of water which if we compare with any other kamods or even the ceramic kamods that you guys may put in your camper van that is not at all something that's doable or something that you should be putting in your caravan because whenever you're on the roll you are not going to get enough water supply and with each flush if you're losing up 15 liters of water that is not something that's doable at all whereas with this tech that we do have we use less than 300 ml of water per flush apart from that speaking of the water tank we have approximately a 400 to 450 liters of fresh water tank which is even further increased if you do have a lot of space underneath and in terms of the septic tank or the black water tank we have approximately an 80 liters of black water tank now for the specifications of this particular bathroom there is one feature in particular that you guys are going to like that goes up part or away from having to consume water in a 
eco-friendly manner but that is a feature that we do have so we have the hardware powder coated in black this is our faucet a soap or shampoo dispenser we have our towel hanger herein we have a lot and lot of vanity space because this was originally supposed to be catering up to 10 to 11 people so according to that then we have a hand spray right there this is from where you can get the access of this system here we have our emergency exit which is very very essential in each and every commercial asset and right here we have our window which in this case we have covered it up but when it's going to be converted back into a caravan this will be a louver window kind of thing on the top if you'll just come up on the inside now this is a very big thing that's different so usually in our bathroom conversions the person is not able to come on the inside whilst we're seating or like whilst we are doing the actual interview but here we have approximately a five feet by three feet of area so that is how big this bathroom is usually in all our conversions we have a 3.5 by 4 feet of area but here we have a big enough bathroom on the top you can see that we have a hatch this one right here is the led light which has been paneled on a rubber wood board here we have our overhead shower our hand shower and the final detail is the bathtub so this is the bathtub that we have provided in this camper van and as i said it goes against what we said that we need to like consume water wherever we are traveling but if you are at a location where you have ample water supply for days and you maybe want to soak yourself in some epsom salt and water that is totally doable so speaking of the bathrooms if you do want to get maybe this big this lavish of a bathroom in your asset that is totally doable or even if it's a smaller bathroom that you want to get customized to convert your normal vehicle into a caravan into towards being a caravan basically then you can surely do that we can customize just the bathrooms for you as well now moving back outside so now we are going to talk about the rear drop down stage that we have so how it functions is you first of all open this right now all you can see is the wall space but similar to the stage that we have on the front or on the co-driver side we have a similar winch which can withstand approximately 6,000 pounds of weight and it is again functioned through a 12 volt DC supply with a press of a button we can simply drop it down So as you can see with a press of a button that I have right here in my hand we have the rear drop down stage completely open and again this is another thing that we have done so let's say if you are stationed up at some location and the PCR people need to go out or in or if they need to address the gathering if people need to address the gathering from here you simply once you are done dropping down the panel you can remove this little extension here and that way you can have a complete stage area so we are going to come back in because I need to switch positions with the camera person so this as the man behind the making says this is kind of my said and done favorite part of the video as you can see there is literally nothing on the roof right now but we have this feature So for safety and security purpose we have given it option of going down only up till this level but this is a lift that can withstand up to 300 kilos however because we have space constraints here we can only permit up to two people up here and then we have the complete roof for our access which you can use if you want to climb up on the rooftop area which we are going to do right now
So we are now on the rooftop area where we have our railings that are completely collapsed down. Here we have Prashant. Say hi. Hi. So he is going to assist us in opening these railings. So once you open these railings, basically you need to bolt it down to a particular place. And this has been done keeping the safety factor in mind. This stage particularly can take up to 30 people at once. And they did even in fact experiment that during the tour, during the election campaigns. So at times there were 30 people, including the cameramans and whatnot on this stage. And that this can basically withstand those many number of people. So this is basically our first area where we can stand and we can address the gathering, we can address the public. So many politicians came up here and they actually address the audience members. And then we have that railing right there. So this then becomes your separate area which you can operate through the door that we have. And now we are on to converting the next area. This took us less than five minutes to set up this whole top area and at the time when they were actually on the road our staff members had to do it more quickly because they had to shoot and they had to go live right when they had stopped. But this screwing and bolting is very necessary so that you are safe and you do not fall off. So right now these bolts are holding everything at one place and we have a complete rooftop area ready now that we have got the help that we needed thank you prashant you can go down which is he's going to be doing through the lift that we have and then we close this panel after which we have a good enough stage area and you can even be standing on top of this but that wraps up this conversion and before we actually conclude this episode i just want to say that if you are interested in fabricating a conversion similar to this one or any other kind of conversion that you require that is something that's totally doable and possible in the caravan conversion or motorhome adventures diaries as for this conversion as i said a walkthrough of this being converted into a camper van is soon going to be ready and we are so so excited that finally a trip that was supposed to happen in 2020 is going to happen so we're going to be traveling with the complete fleet with our particular client who have booked this vehicle for that particular tour and it's going to be a food truck a caravan and the backup vehicle all traveling together towards the sector of lay exploring Ladakh in a caravan whilst being off the grid so if you are interested in traveling to Ladakh or any of the other areas in the Cabo Van, you can surely visit our website that's www.motorhome.co.in. As for the conversions, as we said, we can build anything for you, whatever you dream. And if you're interested in getting anything converted or fabricated, then you can visit our website that's www.caravanconversion.com. And if you are here even now then you guys are the real ogs so thank you so much for sticking out i'll say it in many other languages aapka bahut bahut dhanyawad hajar ko tere tere dhanyawad sa merci beaucoup gracias and how do we say it in punjabi aman twada bahut bahut dhanyawad is it so thank you in every language and about the conversions guys there's something going on in the market wherein people think that we only only do luxurious kind of conversions but that is not the case even if you have a budget conversion in mind that is something that's definitely doable you just need to be very open to us about the kind of conversion and the budget that you have in mind and we can surely build something we cannot go cheaper on the conversion beyond its quality levels but we can definitely reduce the cost and reduce some kind of amenities that may not be very necessary for your requirement so whenever you are inquiring just let us know your budget and we'll be able to help you in a good way and that said thank you so much for coming to this episode of the walk through the conversion if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and because you are the og let's 
give you something back so we are paying it forward if you are a real og and you have stayed here till this part then you can get a five percent off on the rentals for lifetime so this offer is valid till the lifetime remember you need to be contacting us through the website only website inquiries will work and you need to comment down number one the comment which is going to be beat the heat for the sake of this heat and then once you inquire us then you can simply mention in the inquiry box beneath the complete requirement that you have the comment beat the heat and you can avail a five percent discount so will i be getting in trouble for this from the logistics teams maybe but is it worth it for you guys definitely on that notice we are going to conclude this episode of the walk through the conversion motorhome adventures signing off So that is the rear space which collapsed down cabin so let's hop in into the cabin <laughs>